Hey there guys and here's another Final Cut Pro tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing you how we can apply some um, color correction and various um, color effects to a video clip. So uh, let's grab a video clip that we can um, use. Uh, we'll just select a section of video there and uh, we'll insert that using the uh, E key and there we go. So here is our uh, video clip of some uh, runners, the video clip we've been using. And uh, let's just edit the length of that there. So we've got the section that we want and we'll zoom in a little bit on this video clip so we can see it all. Okay, so if we select this um, up here. Uh, sometimes it is displayed or not. If not, you need to click click on here. This this is basically our um, inspector. You can also do it with the command and four key and it will bring up the inspector there. So what you can do here um, is you can select the video clip then you can do various things with it. Um, you can see we can transform, we can crop it. There's various different things that um, we can do and what we're going to focus on here is the um, color. So we can choose um, to uh, color balance, which will um, then analyze the video for um, its color consistency, and it will balance the color. Um, we can choose to uh, color match if you want to uh, match um, two video clips. If they're filmed under slightly different conditions or lighting conditions, you want to match the, um, the color or the tone that you've got from one and the next. And the other thing we can apply then is um, correction. So, hold on, let's just uh, go down here. The one we want to look at today is correction. So we'll select um, correction, so it's blue, and then we'll click on this arrow next to it here. Now you can see we've got um, color, we've got saturation and exposure. So first of all, let's take saturation as an example. And let's say we want to convert this video clip from color, as it currently is, and want to make it black and white. Or we just want to desaturate it a little bit. We'll take our main slider on the left here, and we can drag that down. You'll see the effect is immediately seen there as our color begins to desaturate. If we drag it all the way to the bottom, we'll end up with a completely desaturated um, video image, and everything is in black and white. Um, so we just wait for that to be applied. You see our orange bar there is uh, applying that effect. So now when we play our video clip, it's been played back for us in black and white. So there's a really um, simple way of desaturating the color and uh, making it black and white or, or, or we can alter it so it has a, a slight amount of color to it so it's uh, you know desaturated a little bit. All depends on the type of effect that you wish to achieve. We can choose as well whether we affect the mid-tones, the shadows, the, the highlights, or um, we can go global. So global obviously will affect, uh, you see here it says global, that will affect all of the, uh, the image, all of the highlights, the tones, everything. And we can also saturate the color more if, if, uh, if we feel like the color is a little unsaturated. If we though select uh, shadows for example, we can then choose just to desaturate the shadows. So all of our shadows will, will go completely desaturated but everything else will um, um, keep its saturation. We, we could even increase the saturation say on the mid-tones and our highlights and just completely uh, um, desaturate the shadows. And we just wait for that effect to be applied um, for our orange bar to count up and this to get to 100%. And now we can preview that, you know, how, how it affects our video. So all depending on, on what type of um, effect you want to achieve, you can uh, play around with these um, various saturation levels. And you can always set it all back to default. There's a... Uh, just drag them back to the kind of central location and our video will come back to 
to how it was. And then if you select the, the upper right corner there, then you'll get the, uh, the global setting again and we can, we can go back to our global setting. So that's how we can play around with the um, saturation. So let's make it black and white again. And uh, you'll see now it's in black and white. Um, maybe it's a little overexposed. We've got a little bit too much white there. So we could go over to the exposure and we could choose our highlights and we could choose to just darken the highlights a little bit. And we could choose to lighten our mid-tones and maybe lighten our, uh, um, or we can darken the shadows. All depends on what type of effect we actually want to achieve. We can play around with the various exposure levels or we can blow out the highlights. We can end up with a high key image and we could really uh, fade those down. So, like I say, it all depends on the type of effect you want to achieve, but there's the exposure setting. And again, we just apply it and um, then we can preview it and that's, that's how our video will look if we uh, apply that setting to it. And let's put all these back to where they were. And let's saturate our image again, back to default. So we'll just put that there. Now if we go over to our color, then here we can um, play around with the kind of tone and tinting effects. So you can basically tone the, the image. So you can drag those around again. Uh, we're affecting, uh, this is the global, the global hue which we want to apply. So, uh, you know, we can, we can cool the image by dragging us uh, um, over towards the blue area. We can make the image cooler. Um, we, can, we can make it warmer. Or you can choose if you just want to affect, again, the shadows could be um, adjusted, the highlights and the midtones. So there's lots of uh, different types of effects that can be achieved by, by playing around with the, um, the color, the saturation, the exposure. Obviously, if we completely desaturate the image, then the color has um, less of an effect. It's more like applying a, a, a colored filter in photography, in black and white photography. Um, so there you go, that's how you uh, play around with the, with the color adjustments of the various video clips that uh, you want to use. So I hope that was of some use to you and uh, I'll see you in uh, one of our next tutorials. Thanks for tuning in.